My name is Aet and I work at the e-residency team. Today I will talk about how you can use your e-residency digital ID. If you have just collected your e-residency digital ID from the embassy or one of the big applications we have, then congratulations and welcome to our digital nation. As Estonians, we have been using our ID cards online for over a decade. We can use our digital identity cards to access all kinds of e-services, starting from banking, filing our taxes and even entering e-schools. Now anyone around the world can access Estonian e-services as well, though most of the services are business-related. Your e-residency digital ID card came in a kit like this one. There are three important things inside the kit that you need to access Estonian e-services. Let's see! So firstly, this is your e-residency digital ID card. As you can see, it displays your name, your personal ID code, which is kind of like your name in Estonia, that shows your gender. For me, for displays I'm a woman. And it displays your birth of date. It doesn't have any photo on it, and this is for the reason that this ID card is for accessing online services and these for online news. You cannot use it for traveling. All new digital ID cards are valid for five years. So your digital identity will remain with you for your life. But, as with any document, if the document expires, you will need to apply for a new document. Same is with the e-residency digital ID card. The second item in the box is the smart card reader. It opens up like this, like a plus, and you can insert your e-residency digital ID into it. Like this. Later, you can use the USB port to connect your card with your computer. The third important item in your e-residency kit is this envelope. It contains your PIN codes you need to access e-services. These PIN codes are issued to you personally to use with your specific e-residency card. The envelope has PIN 1, which has 4 digits. You use the PIN 1 to access online services, authenticate yourself online. PIN 2 has 5 digits. You use it to sign documents. And it also has the third code, a book code, which you can use to change your PIN codes. Now I'm going to show you how to use your e-residency digital ID card. You will need your computer for that. First, you need to download the right software from installlab.ide.ee. Now, connect your digital ID card to your computer through your card reader. You can then launch the Digidoc4 to check if your card is connected to your computer correctly. Open my EID and your details will then appear. You can see here, for example, how many times you have used your PIN 1 and how many times you have used your PIN 2. You can also set up your official ht.ee email address following the instructions here. And you can change your PIN codes here if you want a code that is more easy to remember, but still can't be guessed by anyone else. When you want to use a public or private e-service that is compatible with the digital ID card, such as Business Registry, where you can register a company, simply select the option to log in with an ID card and you will be asked to enter PIN 1 to proceed. For more information on logging into e-services and digital signing, visit our support page or ID card technical support page. 